with Tom, I think, doing lip sync battle and, <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, we're always paired together. So we have just become really, really close. And yeah. he's just, he's so great. He's a great person. And it's nice to know that, like, the superhero is also a good person. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then I found out she was a Disney kid. And yeah. there's all the, oh, you know, there's all these stories about Disney kids. I was like, I'll be interested to see what a Disney kid is like. But yeah. she's the most down to earth, regular, easygoing <laughs> girl you'll ever meet. And uh, she's super funny. She's <laughs> yes. super, super funny. And uh, yeah, we've become very... Zendaya and Tom have tugged on our heartstrings in Spider-Man Homecoming, but when do they plan on doing it in real life too? Has Tom successfully cast a web on Zendaya? If so, how? Everybody knows that Zendaya is that badass former Disney star who arguably has commitment issues due to trauma brought on by past relationships. But has her shell finally been cracked? And by THE Tom Holland, no less? Listen up, boys, because you guys will want to take notes. Although Zendaya has had one of the most progressive and successful careers coming out of a life as a child star, we can't say the same for her love life. In 2017, the Shake It Up actress revealed she no longer wanted to shake things up. It is worth noting, though, that all of her so-called previous relationships happened when she was fairly young. Because, in case y'all forgot, Lil Miss is still at the ripe age of 25. So all her relationships were bordering on immature and petty. Apart from being cheated on, she says that the lack of emotional development plays a part in the failure of her relationships. Zendaya opened up to Entertainment Tonight that you cannot change anybody. You cannot make someone grow up faster than they're supposed to. Wise words, babe. But eat that stuff up because Tom has softened the rock that is her heart. I mean, she didn't say she wasn't hostile to the idea, and she proceeds to elaborate on her ideal relationship by saying, With anybody you're with, you have to have a layer of respect, courtesy, understanding, and tolerance. It's also important to have somebody who makes you laugh. If someone can't make you laugh, then that's whack. Speaking of making her laugh, one fan tweeted a video of Zendaya laughing at something Tom says, captioning it with, The Zendaya urge to laugh at everything Tom Holland says and wanting to pinch his cheeks simultaneously. So I guess he checks that one, no? In the whole scheme of things, the couple's love story seems like it came straight out of a movie. But oh wait, it did. A fan even pointed out in her tweet that Zendaya says, The most special part of this is the fact that I got to meet Tom Holland. Thank the heavens MCU decided to cast this British dude as Spider-Man. Because if it weren't for that, we wouldn't be anywhere near the road we're trotting on today. Fun fact, Tom talks about a funny experience with a too honest driver. The actor remembers the chauffeur chatting about how he thinks Tom was going to get the role. It would have been a good treat if only the driver didn't finish off the sentence with, because the kid I just drove there, he is so good looking. Well, we're sure glad Zen doesn't have anything more to say about his looks. And the driver was right because he did get the role. Of course, we know the pair met on the set of Spider-Man Homecoming, but the events that transpired after are so surreal, people couldn't even believe it. The rumors first started surfacing when they apparently started seeing each other while filming. The so-called credible source of people said that they've been super careful to keep it private and out of the public eye, but they've gone on vacations with each other and try to spend as much time as possible with one another. Of course, during these times, the couple were pretty much platonic. Or so they say. Zendaya quips using her official Twitter account. Wait, wait. My favorite is when it says we go on vacations together. <laughs> I haven't been on a vacation in years. HBU at Tom Hall in 1996. Fans were quick to see through the facade of humor at Gail Barlotto tweets. Just confirm it, Z. And at Slytherin, Zendaya, please, your love life matters more to me than my own. We feel you, dude. Not everyone felt the same way about prying through their love life, though. At Euphoria BX says, How about you not be invasive of Tom and Zendaya's personal lives? They are friends. If they're dating, who cares? That's not our business until they choose to share that. Okay, we get your point, and that's true, but honestly, we can't help but bask in the glory that is Tom Dea's chemistry. Fan at Lakely140, alongside pictures of Tom and Zendaya compared to Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya tweets. The Timmy fans say the chemistry is real for him and Zen, for movies perhaps, but I beg to differ. It's all about the body language. Tom and Zendaya have that. 
I haven't even begun to mention how sweet Tom is. Even before the two had become official, Tom became pretty vocal about his appreciation of his co-star turned girlfriend. Zendaya is totally gorgeous, BT dubs. But when Tom posted a pic of her at the 2018 Met Gala on his Instagram, I repeat, Instagram. We all know how much celebs value their Instagram accounts. The world went absolutely crazy. He captioned it, all hail the queen, killing it, mate. The mate thing at the end sort of gave off a bro vibe, but maybe it was just short for soulmate? Who knows? But you know what made their fans go even more nuts? When a photo of them kissing went around online. Yep, this was when the ship finally sailed, and even though they didn't make it official, the locked lips revealed everything we needed to know. One Twitter user tweets, Imagine being stuck in LA traffic and you look to the side and see Tom and Zendaya kissing. Um, girl, I would straight up lose my mind. And there's more. One fan was observant enough to post other pictures and tweet, not Tom and Zendaya kissing and acting like besties after. Please, I want what they have. I guess this checks another one of Zen's boxes. Speaking of boxes, now that we've got Tom Dea's relationship out of one, let's go through all the check marks Tom has scored for himself, shall we? It seems it isn't just Tom who is public about his appreciation for his significant half, because in a November 2021 InStyle cover story, Zen talks about how fun and charismatic the Spider-Man actor is. She adds that Tom can make anybody feel comfortable and have a good laugh and a good chat. It seems that Tom proves once again that the funny guy gets the girl. But so much more than that, Zen says that she absolutely loves how passionate Tom is about portraying such a deeply beloved character like Spider-Man. We can all agree that Tom has some really big shoes to fill, but this apparently became one of the things that brought them closer to each other. During their time on The Graham Norton Show, Tom talks about how great of a support system Zendaya became for him amidst his rapid rise in fame. He says, Two friends coming together, experiencing the world, going through the same problems at the same time, having a shoulder to cry on has been a huge thing for the pair of us. And, well, Jacob as well. At Tom Day Archive posts a clip of the two on the talk show where Zen talks endlessly about Tom's costume. The tweet goes, Zendaya genuinely worries and cares about Tom so much. Girl, my heart can no longer take this sweetness. Oh, have mercy. Adding to Tom's burning passion for his work is the fact that she says they are both perfectionists. She explains how it was cool to see how he cares so much about his work and making it right. Uh, I'm a perfectionist too, but where's my Zendaya? Above all, though, is Tom's companionship. Throughout the whole thing, they've mutually agreed that supporting each other has been the greatest blessing. Zendaya shares, I think sometimes you just have to be a person to vent to, someone to just be there and listen. They do say that the best lovers start off as best friends. And I guess one thing that makes the relationship seem so well is how loyal of a friend Tom has been for Zen. The British actor really went from greeting Zen on her birthday using mate, which is quite frankly the most British thing ever, to saying, my MJ. This really broke the internet, as my MJ trending number one worldwide. At Rob Barnes posts a funny meme of a Sims character with a burning child on the side, with the tweet saying, Not now, child. Tom just called Zendaya my MJ. Okay, a little too much, but it do be like that sometimes. And oh, did I mention that it isn't just us that are so in love with Tom, because so are Zendaya's parents, too. Tom apparently met Zen's parents way back in 2017 and charmed them. All the things happened at Bobby Van Central Park South, when onlookers allegedly saw all of them hanging out. Ad Holland's bug summarizes all of this in her tweet saying, Okay, but the fact that Tom Holland and Zendaya are two of the sweetest and kindest people ever, and they're actually dating each other? Like, they're in love and happy with each other. Y'all don't understand how happy I am for them. At this point, I've ran out of boxes to check because Tom is like the total package. And we're definitely super happy for them. Is this how ants feel when they're trapped in a spider's web? We surely can't get enough of them, and we're sure you are too. Comment down below what you guys think, and sayonara.